Welcome at a Blender quick tip and for today I'm going to explain you the basics of the Discom Bobulator. And for the ones that would like to know all about these extras I've got in my list, I recommend you to check out my other quick tip about extra meshes add-on. A link will pop up in the screen or check out my channel for more Blender stuff. In order to get this option into your list, you will have to go to File, User Preferences, go to Add-ons and type in Extra. And then make sure you will select the Add Mesh Extra Objects and then Save User Settings. In order to use this, you will first have to add in a object. And in this case, I'm going to add in a plane. And now you can see it's actually available to use. Now for the most of the time, we're just going to use this upper part of this add-on since these ones doesn't make any sense to me and I didn't use them to make my screenshot. First things first, there is a usage information which tells you a lot of valuable stuff. It says quads only, no triangles or end guns. Works only with a mesh object that has faces. Select a face or faces. Press discombobulator to create gribbles in object mode. Still needs a selection in edit mode. Which in case means with this object being here I can just select something and then it's there. But if I would go in edit mode and subdivide this. I can also select just one part of this face. Go to this generator, press OK, and it will only pick one part that I have selected in edit mode. Do that, additional objects, layer it on the mesh surface, similar to duplicates, but as one separated object. Now, like I said before, I have messed around with this, do that settings, and I do not really understand what's happening any other than it will add some random planes to it. And maybe more about that later. Limitations. Be careful with the repeat. Protusion settings. If possible, avoid using on big polycount base mesh. Now I already discovered, as you can see in my screenshot, that in one of these objects it only shows three of them because the fourth of them I couldn't make because it was too high and it took ages to calculate. As it says here, it can run out of memory and takes a long time to compute. In this case, I'm just going to turn all these off to zero. Leave this on one, leave this on one, and when I press OK, nothing will happen, looks like. But if I press G, you can see we just created a flat new plane, and this is our other plane that we spawned in. Before continuing, I'm just going to move this plane up till here, and I'm going to add in a plane with just one face. So we have a better understanding of what happens with different face or one face. So with this one face being selected, we can make a mesh on it. And this is actually the height of the mesh. So if I would put this on one, press OK. You can see it just added a tiny bit of a height onto our plane. Now if I would do the same with this one, use the same settings, you can see it actually created four different heights. Since our minimum is on 0 and maximum on 100, if I would remove both, then go back to this and turn this on to 1. Click OK. This will happen. And if I would do the same with this one, use the same options, you can see it's basically the same. So now I'm going to explain you about these options down here. As I like to call it, these actually create a pyramid shape onto the top. Now allow me to just show you, just put this minimum and maximum on 100%, click OK. You can clearly see I've created a pyramid shape. If I would do the same at this one, it will create four different pyramids. Now let's randomize this stuff. I'm just going to put this on to zero and put this on zero. So random heights and random pyramid shapes and press OK. We'll get this with one face. And press OK, you will get different on the multiply faces. Now before I'm going to explain you about these, I'm just going to first explain you about this one down here. And in order to give you a better idea of what's actually happening, I'm just going to give them the same height. And I'm just going to give them no pyramid shape. And I'm going to put the repeat on two. Press OK and you will see this happens. Give you a better idea of what happens. I'm just going to move this off site. So what it did is actually create another cube on this face, create another cube on this face, etc, etc. So if I would do the same with this multiply faces over here, add the same options, 
you can clearly see the same thing happened. But if I would go into edit mode on the first one, you can simply see multiply cubes have been added. If I would go into this one, you can clearly see that it created a cube through a cube. In order to give you a better idea of what happened, I'm just going to remove these. And I'm going to add a little bit of pyramid shaping. I'm just going to put this on point two, this one on point two, and press OK for the first one. Then I'm going to move these all off site, just like so. I'm going to do the same with this one. And you can straight away see what happened. We created some cracks in it. And with this being said, you can understand if I would put this on max of four because you cannot go higher, it will create four times a cube on a cube. If I press OK, this mess will happen. Now, depending on what options you give it, you can create something beautiful or create something that is totally useless. Now, the point is, it wanted us that you have to be careful with repeating this. Now, if I do this with these four faces, press OK, it will calculate it easily. Now, the only moment when Blender starts to have issues if we play around with the last options of this list. Allow me to show you what happens. If I would turn this on four on a one face with these same options, I'm just going to turn this repeater to one. Click OK. You can see it created four objects on one face. If I would do the same with this one, which already has four faces instead of one, do the same options. You can see it created four objects on each of these faces. It multiplies very quick with this. So with this single face being selected, I'm just turning all of these on, which in case means if I press OK, it will randomly choose how many of these objects you're going to get on one face. In this case, it chose for one object. If I would do it again, I might have a chance that it has something different. This time it chose for three objects. Do this again, two objects, etc. etc. To give you a better idea of what happens, I'm going to show this on this four faced plane. Same options, one, two, three, and four. Press OK. You can clearly see it randomly chose how many objects it get on one face. One face one. This phase two, this phase two, and this phase it chose four. So this is the randomizer of how many objects it get on one phase. Now if I would turn this on four, which is single phase at plane, this will happen. It still calculated it pretty easy because it only has one phase. You can imagine if I do this on this four phase at plane, it will take a lot more calculation work. So let's do this with these four face planes. I'm just gonna choose to have randomly chosen objects on each faces, and I'm going to repeat this four times. Now let's see if my blender can hold it or I have to restart. Well, it only took me like five seconds or so. So in this case, I'm just gonna move this off site. I move this off site. Same with this. You can clearly see what happened. It made a totally mess of randomly things of a plane only. And it's getting more heavier each time. So if I would want to make something into a ball, you can better use a round cube instead of a UV sphere. Because a UV sphere in error mode, you can see it uses triangles. And that is something they do not recommend to use. So with this round cube, it has tons of faces. In this fact, it has 69 faces instead of one or four. I'm not going to turn on the repeater. I'm just going to leave that on one and press OK. And I will calculate and it was kind of easily. Now, if I would turn this calculate on two. Uh, it was still a bit easy. If I would turn it on three. It actually took 36 seconds of Blender being in. Hey, Blender is not responding. And you can see what kind of a mess it brought me. So you can imagine if I would put this on four times, it can just take up to maybe 10 to 30 minutes before I got this. 
but just for fun i'm just going to leave these options on point 20 leave this on one and leave this on one when i press ok it will kind of create a grenade surface and you can use this modifier for a lot of other things like corn or a street or a bathroom tiles or even crazy spaceships or a play toy for a dog that makes a squeaky noise you just have to let your imaginary run in this case you want to keep an eye out for this wall factory because i'm going to do a quick tip tutorial about all these options down here for now if you have a question or a request then comment below if this video was useful then like and subscribe for more thanks for watching